Dolly, one out of 276 tries to clone a sheep, managed to survive. What a strong little sheep she was. Scientists have been cloning animals for many years. In 1952, the first animal, a tadpole, was cloned. Other animals that have been cloned include the African bongo antelope, the Sumatran tiger, and the giant panda. Before we clone humans, many challenges must be overcome, such as more effective technologies for creating human embryos, harvesting stem cells, and producing organs from stem cells would have to be developed. Therapeutic cloning, also called embryo cloning, is a production of human embryos for use in research. The scientists use the embryos to extract stem cells that are used to study the development of ultra-sensitive parts of the body. Reproductive cloning is the most common. Dolly the sheep was the first mammal to be cloned from adult DNA. She was put down by lethal injection because she suffered from cancer and arthritis. Gene therapy can treat some genetic conditions by introducing better genes to the flawed area. Due to the inefficiency of animal cloning, only about 1 or 2 per 100 experiments survive, and the lack of understanding about cloning, it is considered unethical to clone humans. Several clone animals have died prematurely from infections and other complications, and the same could be expected in human clones. Physicians from the American Medical Association and scientists with the American Association for the Advancement of Science have issued formal public statements advising against human cloning. The U.S. Congress is considering the passage of a legislation that could ban human cloning. Researchers hope that one day stem cells could be used to serve as replacement cells to treat heart disease, Alzheimer's, and other diseases. Cloning is highly inefficient and very expensive. 90% of cloning attempts fail to produce normal offspring. 